Yo, what's going on dudes? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys and in today's video I'm gonna be creating a brand new map using the brand new BT6 map editor So the first thing that we need to do when creating a brand new map is we need to get some inspiration to create our map So I went ahead and I searched on Google for a little bit and I found something that I thought would be a really cool idea for us And that is going to be creating a zoo so using this little like a fun image I found on the Google image search I'm gonna go ahead and create a zoo using this as my inspiration So using the power of a photo editing I'm gonna go ahead and make it so I can actually see this while I'm creating and designing my map And then once I get like all of the basics down, I'll go ahead and add some customization past that So after doing a little bit of photo editing We can see that we can still see the background here and on top of that We can still see the image just a little bit So for this background I'm gonna go ahead and keep it as the grass to start off with and then the first thing I want to do is I want to put in the path now for the path I think I want to use this because I believe with this pathway It doesn't look too bad when when we do like intersecting paths so let's just go ahead and double check that really really quick and yeah that looks perfectly fine so what we want to do is we want to start off our pathway here at the zoo entrance so we'll go ahead and place our first path here and then it looks like they have a couple of a different paths where the balloons can actually leave so we'll have a balloons exiting over here as well as exiting over here so we'll have our very first path exit over on this side of the map now we need to go ahead and make it so this uh, pathway circulates the entire map so while i'm placing down this path i noticed that the pathway was just a little bit too wide so i'm gonna go ahead and decrease the size of the path down to one so for our first path this first path is going to end up working out just fine i'll probably come back through and do a little bit of fine tuning once we actually get all of our paths down i think i'm going to increase the amount of paths from two to three because i think i can create one more path up here and because there's still a lot of unused paths that i haven't placed yet let's go ahead and add a third pathway all right so this is going to be the basic layout for our zoo now the next thing i need to do is i need to go ahead and clean all of these tracks up because right now it looks a little bit wacky and wonky all right so we've got most of the wacky and wonkiness out of the zoo for now um, I'll probably go and do a one final touch up once we actually get all of the stuff placed down Now the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and look at the image once again So let's go ahead and take a look here So it looks like we have a water section here Another water section here and a fountain in the middle I don't know if I'm going to put the fountain in the middle right here I'll probably end up doing something a little bit different But it looks like we have a couple of different sections for a couple of animals Now the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and place down some fences so this is probably going to take the longest because we need to find like the perfect size for the fences because as you guys can see like this size really isn't going to cut it so that looks pretty nice so we'll go ahead and place a bunch of fences throughout the entire map to go ahead and like act as a cage for all of the animals all right so we have the first fence placed down so i think this looks pretty good so far i think i'm going to go ahead and edit this path and just change it so there's like one path here so let's go ahead and jump back to our paths really really quick um this is the one that we need to change we need to go ahead and add something ray um actually we need to remove that one uh, we need to click this and then after we click this we need to go ahead and click uh wait a minute um do i have the wrong the wrong path this is the only problem with like having mul multiple paths all right there we go so let's go ahead and change this over so it's only a singular pathway because i think it'll look better if we go ahead and do it like this and then let's try to clean this up just a little bit and i think that should do pretty well and then we'll go ahead and add, when we add up fences, that should clean it up a little bit more. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to like find a spot where I can go ahead and place some buildings. I'm thinking this section right here is going to be like the concession stand area. So we'll turn this into a concession stand area. And then after that, we'll make this like a water theme part or a water park. Then we'll make this one a water part as well. And then I think I actually will do the fountain here. And then I'll add like a bench here and a couple of other little obstacles to make it a little bit more detailed. Man, after sitting here and like manually placing all of these fences, this is like the point where I wish a Ninja Kiwi would have added like a copy and paste function because this would be so much easier if I could just copy and paste all of these fences. Like this gets, this is the really tedious part 
of this because you either go through and like manually change the size of everything like I, I don't care about like turning them and stuff like that but when it comes to like resizing it would be nice if i could like just automatically make all of the fences the same exact size all right so we have a bunch of fences placed down now the next thing i want to check is i want to check to see if you can actually shoot over these fences because we did end up changing the size of them all right so what we need to check is we need to check to make sure that none of our towers can actually shoot beyond these fences because the main point of these fences is to make the map a little bit harder as well as keep the animal cage or the animals caged up all right so now that we've done all that i want to keep these three sections open because i'm going to turn this little section into like a park i'm going to turn this section into a concession stand area and i'm going to turn this section into a water fountain but before all that i'm going to turn this section into a water section and this section into a water section as well but there is one thing that i need to change really really quick and it's going to be uh, this part right here because I need uh, this section to kind of like go up against the fence a little bit more. That way it doesn't look too off. It'll just make like a, a big road section right here. And I think that'll look perfectly fine. Yeah, that, that looks all right. The next thing I want to do is I want to change this a little bit because I want this to be a little bit more or I want to get rid of this little point. We can get rid of that point just by moving uh, this pylon right here. And then we'll go ahead and change the direction just a touch and hopefully that ends up fixing that little bit of a point ah uh, it's still there so i'm gonna have to do something about this little point by adding like maybe like a bench or something to kind of take this away i would ideally like this to be a circle but with these with the way that i have the pass it's pretty hard to turn it into a circle but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to turn these couple of uh, fenced in areas over to a water section so we can do that by changing the area and it shouldn't take us too long to do this because we already have the layout of like the fences so the only thing we need to do is move these pylons to like make it so this little section is a water section All right and that should do it for the two water sections now we need to i want to turn a couple of these into like a desert section as well of that way we can go ahead and like do a buffaloes i think i'll turn this giant section into a desert section all right and that should do it for the desert section and now we'll go ahead and turn one into like a darker grassland area so we'll turn this section into a darker grassland area like uh, so and it's really easy to like turn these sections into like uh what you're going for the only thing you need to do is like get the general setup and then just go ahead and add pylons where you need to add the pylon all right and that should do it for that section and then I want to turn one of the sections into like a mud section. So we'll go ahead and grab this. We'll go ahead and get the general layout going here. All right, and that should do it for like a swampy section. Let's go ahead and add uh, some darker water here like this. Add a little bit of a water like a uh, feature inside of the cage. All right, now I think we have all of the different sections. I kind of want to fix the uh, fix this though because it's a little bit weird and wonky and I don't like it uh with that little bit of a jagged edge there so let's go ahead and do this and hopefully that fixes that little bit of a jagged edge nope it's still there man that's so annoying all right there we go and uh it looks a little bit better there's still a little bit of an indent I don't know how I can actually fix that indent I kind of wish that Ninja Kiwi would have done like a paintbrush effect instead of going with these areas because it would be a lot easier to paint what we want instead of uh, like using the different pylons. I'm not saying it's like a bad thing, but it would be way easier if we had more control. Now let's start getting into uh, the actual details of our setup here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to set up the concession stand area. So the concession stand area, we'll go ahead and add a couple of buildings. We'll make the buildings a little bit on the smaller side. So we'll add like one, maybe like five buildings along the outside here. And then we'll add like a couple of uh, like extra feature, uh, a couple of of like bushes maybe maybe like a couple of trees to add a little bit of effect as well all right so we have a couple of buildings placed now i'm gonna use a trick that i saw somebody do in the browser already and i'm gonna try to change the way that a couple of these buildings look and you can change the way that these buildings look by adding like a box and then just like shrinking the size of the box to add a little bit more of a custom aspect to your building um i don't know how i feel about this so i think i just like the normal buildings a little bit more um let's see yeah like it adds a little bit of an effect but i just kind of like the normal buildings for now i think we'll stick with the normal buildings so we have the concession stands now um uh, let's add ourselves like a couple of i guess like picnic tables um for the picnic tables we'll go ahead and use a couple of these boxes as like uh, some place for like people to just, like sit down and eat so we'll grab ourselves one box we'll grab ourselves a second box man again i know i already said it but it would be so nice to have a copy and paste feature 
it would make this way easier because now I need to like try and like make it so these boxes are exactly the same, which is easier said than done. Now let's try to add a bench from this as well. And hopefully the bench ends up going well with this. I don't know if it actually will though. Uh, I mean, it looks all right. It doesn't look terrible, but I like, we just have to, have, we just have to make, make do with what we have. So we'll do the double bench here. We'll grab, we'll grab a couple more. And then this will be like the concession area where like if people sit down to eat. Because whenever you go to a zoo, there's always like a concession area where people sit down to eat. All right, that should do it for the concession area. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add a couple of trees here. On top of that, I want to turn this into a garden as well. So with the garden, I'm going to use this, this little rock segment here as like a different path that like goes through the garden. Right, so there's a little path that goes through the garden. Now, the next thing I want to do, um, let's go ahead and set up some details inside of all of these different areas here. So for this water feature, we'll add like this a big rock here. And I want this rock to have a towers placeable on top of it. So we'll go ahead and place down the rock right here. And then we'll go ahead and jump back to the home screen. And we'll make sure that we can place a tower on top of that rock. Unfortunately, it's not going to work out the way that I want it to. I can't place a tower on top of this rock even though as you're supposed to be able to. Right, so that kind of like ruins my plan, what I had planned for this rock. So I guess we'll just use the rock for a feature and then we'll have to like use this little section here. We'll have to use the uh, the uh, concession area as well as the garden as where we need to place our towers in order to pop the balloons. It's going to make this map a little bit harder, but I think it should be fine. So because of this rock, you can't place towers on top of it. I'm just going to use it as a feature, like I was saying. So the first little customization that I'm doing right now is I'm going to go ahead and like make a rock feature over here. And I'm going to do that by like combining rocks to like kind of make it look like the rocks are naturally formed like that. Then we want to add like maybe like one or two more rock features as well. Because I mean, when you go to the desert, that's one thing you're going to see a lot of is a lot of rocks. All right, so that should do it for the rock features. We have a one giant rock over here. And then we had to have two more over on these sides. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add a couple of like dried out trees. So these trees will work really, really well. We just need to make it so they're kind of scaled for the size of the desert. And then just because this is the desert, that doesn't mean that the desert animals need to suffer. So what we'll do is we'll add a, like a little watering hole over here. That way, all of the animals in the desert can go ahead and get like a drink of water. I mean, they usually have these in like zoos as well, even if it is like a like a desert theme captivity thing. So we'll give all of the desert animals a little bit of a watering hole. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add a little bit of greenery around the watering hole because it is the only source of water out here. So, of course, it's going to have a bunch of uh, foliage around it. And generally, when there's like an oasis in the middle of the desert, one thing that really like pops in my head is that there's usually like a couple of palm trees around it. Now, I'm not going to go with like the usual palm trees. If I'm not mistaken, there should be like a special looking palm tree that i think would look really unique in this section of the zoo um that one's not the one i'm looking for this is what i'm looking for right here this little tree is kind of like a bush but at the same time it's it's a tree i think i mean it looks like a bush but it's but it's a tree it's just a really funky looking tree i'm going to add that like right here uh next to the oasis and we'll add one more right here and that this will provide a little bit of shade to like the animals and whatnot there we go i think that looks pretty good for the start of the detail with the desert option now we need to add a couple of details over in this area all right so we don't need too much detail on this section we'll just grab a couple of purple trees and then we'll like throw another little bit of a watering hole here so we'll use a little bit of a darker water for this one we'll do this and then like this and i think that should do pretty well for a watering feature for this little section of the zoo so for the section up there in the top left I'm going to add a couple of rocks that have moss on it because I think the rocks with the moss would look really, really good, especially with like this dark theme that we have going because this section is supposed to be kind of like a swampy area. So if we add a couple of rocks that have the moss on it, it should end up looking really nice. Now, as far as like the trees for this section, I think I'll go for like a couple of these dark pine trees. I think a couple of these dark pine trees would work, would look really well with this theme that we have going here. And I think that looks pretty good for this section. Now we just have this section up here and this is going to be like a meadow. So what kind of trees can we put up here? Um, Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own trees for this section and we can make our own trees by using, where is it? Um, There's a prop here that actually is pretty cool. Uh, the only thing we need to do is we need to grab this. We need to place them along the fence line here. Um, Let's go ahead and space them out a little bit. 
I'll throw one here, we'll throw one here, and then we'll throw like one over here, and then we'll throw one more like right here. And then with this, the only thing we need to do is we need to grab ourselves the leaves option, which should be somewhere around here. There it is. All right, so with this, the only thing we need to do is we just need to like rotate this. We need to uh, make it kind of so it's centered, and then we need to kind of make it look like this. And there we have it. We have made our own little tree, I believe. Change it a little bit. There we go. So I think that looks pretty good for like our own custom made tree. And there we go. We added a couple of our own custom made trees. Now we need to go into a little bit more detail. We need to add a couple of trees in this little garden here. So I don't know if like making my own custom made trees and then like using like the, the pink and the different like autumn themed the theme leaves. I think that would work out pretty well. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Actually, instead of the autumn theme, I'm going to use like these cherry blossom trees because I think the cherry blossom trees look really, really good. Um, The only problem is that we only have like one cherry blossom tree. So we'll have like one cherry blossom tree in the middle and then we'll make our own cus custom trees with these leaves right here. There we go. That should do a pretty good for like a walkthrough forest. I guess we really didn't need to place the stone path, but I mean, every little detail counts. So now the next thing we need to do, we need to make a little bit, or we need to make a, the concession stand area a little bit more welcoming. So we can do that by grabbing some of these potted plants wherever we can find them. They're somewhere around here. There are these. So we'll go ahead and turn this into like a kind of a divider for the concession stand. Which side looks better? Um, actually, I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. I think this one will work, would look a little bit better. So we'll add a little bit of detail by placing this here. We'll move uh, this down a little bit. Um, that way we can go ahead and place like another one in between these two buildings here. And that should be good enough. Um, I'm actually going to move the food area a little bit more over here. And then, that way I can add like another potted plant here. And then I'll add like a couple more like benches with tables. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to add any more benches. Instead, I think what I want to add is I want to add a couple of trees behind here. And then like, can I use this one little feature to kind of make uh, the ground look a little bit more like man-made? So maybe if I do this and then I add like a bunch of these around here, like would that look good? Actually, I think that would look great. I right, shall so add these all over here like this. Uh, can I make them a little bit smaller so they go underneath the pathway? I can. This will be perfect. Yep. So now I just need to add like a, bun a bu bunch of these to like the food concession area. But I think that would look really, really good. All right. So that should do it for the little like a man-made cement fixture here. Now I want to add a umbrella because I mean, if people are going to sit down to eat, they definitely want to be in a little bit of shade. So let's go ahead and add ourselves an umbrella as soon as I find it. All right. With the umbrella, we'll place like one right here and then we'll place like a second one over here. Just as a little bit of a detail here. Um, and then let's go ahead and place ourselves a third one. I think a third, a third one would work out pretty well too. Maybe like a fourth one right there. I think that would look really, really nice. There we go. So we have four umbrellas. And now let's go ahead and add uh, some flower fixtures along the back here to kind of make it a little, look a little bit more smooth. All right, so that should do it for this little section right here. Now, I think I'll add like a little pond here with a couple of uh, lily pads. I think that would look really, really nice. There we go. There's a little pond. Now, um, let's go ahead. We'll add ourselves like a little tree here because I think a tree would look really nice in that spot. Um, I'll probably end up doing like a man, a uh, tree that I made though, because I think a tree that I make would look a little bit better. All right. So there's uh, two trees to add a little bit of detail in the center of the map. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add the water fountain feature right here in the, uh, entrance to the zoo so there's the water fountain and now let's go ahead and add uh, some like shrubs around the outside to give it a little bit more detail all right and there is a water fountain with a little bit of foliage around it which you usually see in a lot of theme parks now the next thing i want to do is i want to add a little bit more detail to all of the like animal enclosures so i'll do that by adding a couple of stamps we'll add ourselves some like flowers and some leaves and this should add a little bit of extra detail all right and by using a couple of stamps we ended up adding a little bit of detail to all of the enclosures which i think it looks a lot better now now that we have some flowers placed some rocks a couple of like bones some little sand islands here now I need to add a couple of finishing touches to this section here and this section here. And then it'll be time to actually add the animals to our enclosure. All right, I think that should about do it for all of the detail. I would add a bunch of grass, but I think we're getting close to the limit on the, on the amount of props that we can place down. So instead of doing that, let's just go ahead and add a bunch of animals. All right, so I think we should be about good, guys. So we have a bunch of animals that I placed all over the map. 
we have the desert enclosure with some buffalo we have some chimkins we have some ninja kiwis we have uh whatever this thing is a porcupine and then we have uh, the fire foxes uh, we have some bunnies we have some more porcupines up in uh, this enclosure and we have uh, the wolves over here in this enclosure and we have uh, dragons and whatever these things are over here we have some narwhals some frogs some rubber duckies and I think this should be pretty good for a normal zoo. So uh, let me know, guys, what do you guys think of uh, my little zoo? Now, I did use uh, this as like a general layout. So I think my layout actually looks a little bit better than uh, this picture here. But anyways, dudes, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of uh, this map. Now, the last thing for us to do, of course, we are not finished yet. We need to go through and first we need to actually pick uh, the music for this. And I think uh, the BMC Street Party would be a really good soundtrack for this map. And now the last thing to do is we actually need to play and beat our map. So for my map, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be playing on easy standard mode because I want to challenge you guys. I want to see what the highest difficulty you guys can complete on the map that I create. So this map is going to be pretty tough, guys, because we have a three different map and entrances here and they all go through with different areas. So the first thing is like, where can we actually place any towers? So we have a dart monkey spot that we can place here. We have another spot that we can place in front of this building right here. Here. so actually you know what i think this would be a really good spot because it looks like we have a couple of intersecting paths here so we'll place one dart monkey here we'll place another dart monkey up here and then we need one more spot for another dart monkey and i think this is going to be a spot right here there we go all right so let's see if our three dart monkeys is going to be enough to stop these first couple of rounds this is actually kind of crazy dudes we do have balloons coming from the bottom here but they need to first get through the spike pile which i think is going to take a couple of rounds for them to actually bust through all these spikes man it's getting so complicated all right so these balloons are going to exit over here so i think i want to like upgrade this one up to enhanced eyesight i think if i upgraded this star monkey up to like a crossbow it would be perfectly or it would work out really really well uh, next thing let's go ahead and place down our hero we already had one blue give us a little bit of a hard time so let's go ahead and upgrade this crossbow i think this dart monkey is going to come in clutch because i think we have balloons exiting over here oh uh, i think we have two sets of balloons exiting over here so upgrading this dart monkey first would end up working out really really well the next thing is i think i want to grab myself like a wizard monkey because grabbing a wizard monkey would help out a ton as well. Man, this is a super complicated map. Uh, because you have a balloons coming from over here. You have balloons coming from over here. You have balloons coming from down here. And this is just a giant cluster, dudes. Man, this map is actually kind of nuts. So like I was saying, I think a wizard or I think the wizard monkey is going to end up working out really well in this style of map. So we'll upgrade it up to arcane blast so that way it can shoot through walls. And then let's go ahead and grab intense magic and then monkey sense so we can see camo blitz. And then can I place like a dart monkey down here next to our fountain? I think we should be able to. Man, I designed a pretty complicated map here, guys. Man, this is going to be super interesting to see how many people are actually going to be able to beat it. So I was thinking, and I think a really good tower for this style of map would be like a monkey ace because at least the monkey ace would have global range but the only problem is is i don't know if the monkey ace would be able to take it down the moab balloon unless we get like a alchemist in a village man this is going to be really interesting to see if this could be beaten on chimps I, I think i will go with the monkey ace because i think the monkey ace would be like a really solid tower we already have camo detection we do need some lead popping power so i want to upgrade to never miss first and then after we buy our never miss then we'll give our never miss some camo or some lead popping power to deal with the uh lead balloons on round 28. all right so now we have global range with our never miss so like i was saying we're gonna grab some lead popping power as well i'll just go ahead and place an alchemist right next to this then we'll grab larger potions and acidic mixture dip so now we shouldn't struggle with lead balloon all right next let's go ahead and grab a rapid fire with lots more darts then we'll go ahead and grab berserker brew and then we'll grab stronger acid and perishing potions so that way round 28 should be a pretty easy round to beat next i want to give our monkey ace some camo detection to help out with camo balloons as well as i want to give it jungle drums I think a jungle jumps is a little bit more important than camo detection, but we definitely want some camo detection. Uh, even though we do have two towers that can hit camo blues with the wizard monkey as well as the crossbow. All right, so here's our jungle drums. Next, I want to upgrade this alchemist up to stronger stimulant. That way we have ample moab popping for round 40. And also there was one more thing that I wanted to check. I want to check if I could place a dart monkey. So you can place a dart monkey here. That's actually going to come in clutch. All right, next thing I said, I want to grab stronger stimulant for our monkey ace. Then after we grab stronger stimulant, 
Um, do we really need camo detection? I think I could just upgrade my alchem or my uh, I think I can just upgrade my wizard monkey up to arcane mastery, and that should be enough for camo balloons. So, I actually kind of really like the way this map turned out. It's a little bit smaller scale than what I would like to do, but I still think it turned out pretty good. And on top of that, I think this should be a pretty challenging map as well especially on chimps mode but there we have it dudes we have officially beaten our map on easy mode now like i was saying dudes i want to challenge each and every single one of you out there that watches this video what is the highest difficulty that you can beat on this map now the last thing we need to do is we need to name this map so let's go ahead and name it h2k uh titans zoo i think i I think that's fine all right and then let's go ahead and share it that way we can go ahead and get the code and here's the code once again guys i wanted to know what is the highest difficulty that you guys can be on this map but anyways dudes that's gonna do it for the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys hit that like button and i'll see you dudes in the next one